scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mola. More power. More of you in my life. More love. More power. more time. God is in the midst of his people. This is called koinonia. An encounter with an ability that is beyond the realm of men. No matter how hardened you are. of God is that one factor 
that must be present in any meeting for people to be changed. Pastor Jakes powerfully shared here that it's not enough to be instructed in righteousness. There must be an ability to receive it. He said, the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered. Until it enters, you will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. <laughs> Somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can. We call this koinonia. Simply koinonia. The place of his presence. God is in the midst of for ye are come unto Mount Zion, that mount where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect to the church of the firstborn. where he has chosen to leave us with the charisma of his presence. Adonai, Lamb of God, truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, Tonight, let your kingdom reign in our hearts. Adonai, 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 yeah. Adonai. Adonai, 
worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. Let your kingdom reign in my heart. Not a special number. Let your kingdom come. Yeah. Let your kingdom come. This is our prayer. When his kingdom comes in your life, you will never be the same. Let his kingdom come upon that sick body. Let your kingdom come. First Thessalonians. There are angels moving around, just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. like him he's the lion and the lamb he's seated on the throne see this is not a special number mountains bow down every ocean roll to the Lord of Lord. just listen to me I'm ministering to your spirit who is this God? He's the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in his presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. It's great and mighty. Full of majesty. And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life. That no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, 
sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. I'm calling you higher, say the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit, said the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians two verse eight. First Thessalonians two. I'm sorry, not eight. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire. For you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories 
experiences parables they are a revelation of the patterns the workings of the kingdom it takes illumination it's called the spirit of revelation and then your eyes are open to see beyond the story and then you begin to see the construction the build of the character and the operation of the kingdom and when you understand it you have those keys then you will command power in this territory and this is what we seek to transfer an understanding of the operation of the kingdom week after week this is our project to unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom because when you find it then you will be able to operate in mastery in the last one or two months we have been unveiling a lot of things opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life all of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another to open you up to the spiritual dimension the bible says they know not neither do they understand they grope in darkness confusion and as a result the earth is out of course have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes and the remedy is an unveiling this is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. It says, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from out of thy heart. Keep them in the midst of the heart. He said they are life to those who find them. Health to their flesh. It will take your understanding of spiritual things. It is understanding that will reduce Satan to become nothing in your life. hallelujah wherefore we would have come to you so there are many things that desire to come into your life breakthrough blessings increase he said but what happened satan hindered us satan hindered us hindered the blessing hindered the lifting hindered your insight access into the deep things of the spirit but satan hindered us hallelujah and tonight we have come to call the devil a liar we have come to open up the two lead gates that you will step into certain things that have a fourth time been given please take note of what is happening tonight there are healings already happening i'm seeing it in the spirit hallelujah we are going to be praying this night we will be confronting the gates of darkness are you hearing what i'm saying tonight we will pursue we will overtake and we will recover all many people have taught all kinds of junk messages look at me wickedness is real don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message the Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how awe inspiring are your ways. It says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore by now you would have been lifted by now your family would have risen to a level you would have stepped into another dimension but satan hindered us wherefore you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now 
your destiny help us have desire to come to you but satan hindered them wherefore your life partner would have come into your life you would have been happily married with dignity and honor but satan hindered them wherefore that job that opening but satan hindered us this is paul the apostle speaking i desire to come to you i know the things i carry and i know that if i meet you you will never be the same so satan hindered us wherefore you would have been coming to for koinonia years ago but satan hindered you wherefore your loved ones would have been here tonight with all your efforts to bring them but satan hindered them i need you to know that satan is determined to frustrate your christian experience are you hearing what i'm saying satan is determined he will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life therefore it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him he said unto thee O lord do i lift up my soul oh my god he said i trust in you let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything in obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people listen we have been explaining these things right from the teaching give me this mountain that every time you arrive at that mountain there are giants hear me there are forces of darkness stationed across the earth to ensure that men do not rise zechariah chapter one this is a month of breakthrough something must happen in your life I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. Okay. Cry yet saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. The moment he, he speaks about breakthrough, what happens? Next verse. Can you give us from Amplified? Is it possible? Please, Amplified. Then I lifted up my eyes and behold, four horns. Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, what are these? I've not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I've not been taught. What are these? Many of, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I've not been taught. I've no, I wasn't given this insight that after a promise, there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes, let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? 
If it's raining, let them come in. Please come in. Sit anywhere. On the ground, on the altar, anywhere. Just find a place and sit down. Tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray. Listen. And he answered me. He said, these are what? The four horns of powers which have scattered Judas. Rob men of their praise. Rob men of their testimony. Judah means praise. Praise is an effect of a testimony. The well-doing of the Lord. Please come in. Come in everybody. Sit down anywhere. Come and sit here. Wherever you can find. Just sit down. There are spaces all around. Ushers, please help them. I need everybody's attention. Are you following me now? He said they have scattered what? Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Tonight we will pray. Oh, that devil that is holding your destiny. See, no matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. Is that true? No matter how mad he is, he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, the Bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Look up. Every promise in the Bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you. There are more seats. Stand anywhere. No devil will stop you this night. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Sing it one more time. Yeah. Let hope let it rise. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen, one for each enemy of the horn. He showed me four carpenters. He said, Now I've shown you the horn. There are certain people I am going to send to you. He calls them carpenters. This is your promise. This is your destiny. Between you and your destiny, there are four horns. And the job of those horns is to scatter your life, scatter your finances, scatter your anointing, scatter your prayer life. He said, but I sent four carpenters. One for each horn. Mam breto sataka bakate He said to beat it down. Twenty one. Then said I, What are these horns or smith? So Satan sends his horn. See, let me tell you something. Go to verse nineteen. He said, These are four horns and four powers. Their job is to wreck your destiny. Are you listening to me? They are, they are patient. These are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family, they are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? He says, and he said, these are the horns or powers that scattered Judah so that what? No man will lift his head. There are forces. Hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, wherefore, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries. 
so that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads so that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads that's the job every time anyone in your family is about to rise they contend in your academics in your finance the moment you begin to pray after one week your prayer life dies the horns the moment you have faith and say lord i trust you after three days something pushes you down are you following me now you enter a relationship two weeks something just happens and scatters everything who are these he said these are four horns they have been stationed and every time they see you lifting your head their job is to bring you down it's in your bible it says so that no man will lift up his head many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down are you listening to me the moment a ministry starts blossoming the men of god are carried away with money and prosperity and increase and ministrations they forget that there are four horns let the lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise the moment they declared this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased all hell broke loose he said i desire to give you prosperity i desire to give you increase but there are four homes there are four homes there are many families represented here what you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different between that dream and the manifestation are four homes they are gates are you following me tonight I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray. Four horns. You go, you go and apply for a job. They are ready to respond to you. Three days later, something comes up without any explanation. See, hear me believers. If you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom, you may remain forever. And you will not lift up your head. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My head. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. The moment they pay your father's salary, everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish. You marry a man who was loving and caring, suddenly he becomes a Dracula. Four horns. Tonight, we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you, Satan can bow. Are you hearing me? Satan can bow. You must get angry in your spirit. Don't just sit and watching others. Forget about what is happening and concentrate. There's no space. Sit around. Find somewhere and sit. Tonight, when it's time to pray, I don't want to see you looking at me. Pack your wig. Pack your wivon. Keep it one side. We are going to pray this night. Hallelujah. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to what? There are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn. Are you saying that word? He said, see, he said, but these smiths, these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn. He didn't say, it's not just to defeat them, to terrorize them. There are people Satan is afraid of. See, Pastor Jake's made a statement. Look at me. 
Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is this error in the body. There are two errors. One is the error of saying, see, everybody, I have the same access to God. Are you hearing me? I have the same access to God. There is nothing there. No man of God is special than this. Or the one that men of God make themselves semi-gods. Both are wrong. But let me tell you something clearly this night. Not every human being is a human being. The anointing has changed some people. The Bible says there are many bodies. Some are terrestrial. Some are celestial. They may look like you. The ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things. Are you hearing me? We are equal in Christ. But we are not equal in call and office and anointing. You must realize this. The Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and says, You, I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more. It is an office. It's an office. To terrorize the works of darkness. See, let me tell you this night. Whatever power, hear me. I'm speaking under the unction of the Lord. Whatever power that is responsible for holding any area of your life, except God is not the God of heaven, it must give up on you this night. I said it must give up on you this night. I don't care. I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters. If I be sent of God, I speak to you every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life it will bow this night he said but i have sent carpenters they are around scattered over the earth the only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them Jesus went to certain cities. They saw him until he ascended to heaven. And they said, is this the man that has been among us? See, let me tell you, one of the greatest revelations you have in this life is that some people have been called. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's called an election of grace. I didn't call myself. See, let me tell you something. When the Lord showed me the vision for ministry, hear me. I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people. Very oppressed people. Messed up by Satan. It was a whole generation of people. And I saw them crying. And while they came close, I was hearing the sounds of their cry. And they were blaming me in the vision. And I said, what is wrong? And they said, there is no food and no water. Suddenly, it occurred to me that I was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation. This is a vision I had. Listen to me, please. Hallelujah. And when that happened, I told them who is the cause who is the reason why you are the way you are and they said you are the one suddenly compassion fell on me and I said I'm going to come out right now I, I got to that tower I was trying to hide from somebody that was when I looked through the mirror and I saw that thing it was fear and timidity that made me to run like Gideon to go and hide in the vision but the people were telling me that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse they said no food and no water these two things hallelujah and i was determined that i was going to go out the moment i opened the door because i was afraid that i was alone when i opened the door there was a giant person that stood and he said hold my hands 
we will go together. He's called the Holy Spirit. This is the whole idea behind the things we do with the Holy Spirit. People have criticized that we are emphasizing the... See, let me tell you, every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand. The Bible says they know not. I'm taking time to explain to you. This call, there are people who have been called as carpenters. You may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial. There are some people that certain graces have elected them. Hallelujah. In one other vision, I was in a whole city and I found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed. And I was crying because there were people that were sick. I said, what is all this? What is going on here? And I had a voice. He said, go and heal them. That was the end. So when people hear that HIV positive is changing to negative, or when people hear that genotypes are changing, rather than finding out, they keep criticizing and castigating. We don't announce any miracle here without verification. He said, but these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these homes. That's why their lives are not normal. They are not normal human beings. They don't live like normal human beings. Hallelujah. Many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation. It will change you. I don't have a social life. I have lost many things that many people have. You do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate. I see a lot of people jumping and smiling. I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end. Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns, brothers and sisters, that are responsible for the way your father behaves, for the way your mother behaves, for the way your loved ones behave. You have tried counseling. You have tried psychology. It didn't work. They are called horns. But the Bible says, My head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn, and you have anointed me with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Shila bakata prato soto balakata. Are you there? What did I say? 16, I'm sorry. 16, verse 9. Let's read together. It's projected. One to read. One to read it again. For a great door and effectual is opened up to me. And there are many, a great door is opened. The door of marriage has been opened. The door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? It's not everyone that is afraid of death. 
It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is and he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes through an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that. He said by his stripes. He didn't say by the oil. We have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws. Authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh uh. There are kingdom principles, and this is what we seek to share. Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, Why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, Oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, I am one of those carpenters. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are some of you who don't sleep. When you close your eyes, you are oppressed. I was one of those people. The Bible says, a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, worthy is the lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things he has received and he has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed. I think during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? with big syringe injected this man with hiv virus and he woke up physically with the virus that devil is a liar come on now years ago i used to pray for barren people and they were not healed they didn't give birth it disturbed me and i went back i said lord what what is it then the lord told me barrenness is not sickness it's an oppression it doesn't require healing there is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See? I look forward to testimonies where will he, somebody will say, Ah, I heal the sick and I raise the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Uh uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say, I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes, financial carpenters apostolic carpenters one of my life's goal is to break the back of poverty 
in the church is one of it I hate the effect of poverty on many families more ladies have entered prostitution they didn't come to meet you how much do you have many people have been messed up there are some of you now you want to marry but you cannot get married because of the finance and some of you are hoping that one day I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married calculate it by your do you to judge But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You're going to get angry this night. This night we're going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. Remember? How that Daniel was praying and fasting, wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says, the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11, verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says, the prince of Persia withstood the angel 20 and 1 day. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, Now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to help. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sing it one more time. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. I've shared it here. Before we start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chicken Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow commanding principalities and power and then the city opens up before i go for administration in any city i speak to the principalities they know my voice see let me teach you something there are principalities there are powers there are rulers there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are different strata of of darkness but the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. 
So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week and an open heavens and you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us yet you are coming because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. And say now. Everybody is lamenting. If there is nobody. I am an ambassador. Say it. I am an ambassador an ambassador. This is why God is bringing you and you are going to pray. As you pray first for yourself and then through the fire of the Holy Ghost you will dislodge powers over your life and then you will see testimonies rolling in. Suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get. Suddenly there is an open heaven. Your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. Nobody ever came to Jesus Christ. Hear me. After he went 40 days and 40 nights, Satan came to withstand him because Jesus wanted to come to the people like Paul. But Satan withstood him. When he defeated Satan, suddenly on the mountain, people started coming. Along the water side, people said, what happened? Powers were dislodged. This night, hear me, you are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say, heaven is backing me. Say it, heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I tell you, there will be an eruption of testimonies 
after this night's meeting, you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family, they are not as ordinary as they look. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. number one hallelujah you are going to pray and say in the name of Jesus I confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial days. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to form. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, yeah. 
The Bible says there is no man hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities, bow.
I tell you, fire is burning in Fire is burning in Hallelujah. Listen. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please. When a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what he stole. He said he will restore sevenfold. This is what the Bible says. Sevenfold. You're going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me, in, I'm in a vision right now. He's and the Lord is showing me angels Baranas. holding baskets. Hear me? Yes. But the baskets are empty. Listen. Say good. Please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See? Si Hear me? Si he said, and I will restore. Si Hear me? Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. Ministered something Rest to me. On. We are still praying on the third point. Rest the Lord said Rest we on. should call back opportunities that were either missed or wasted. Rest are on. you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Rest either on. by carelessness it passed. Let me tell you, Rest it's on. only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me. I don't care what opportunity you missed. Rest on. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Rest on. for job, Rest right on. now, I want you to call back Rest that on. opportunity. It will come back. Yes. Yes. Oh, 
Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you will see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. Uh, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes... As this power is taking some human beings become victims. We don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is not. Lift your voice. I'm not 
I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, What is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, You are called Israel, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, He says, And the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing birthing new and mighty things in the spirit we are stepping into a dimension see for when you are faithful with what God gives you he said he measured a thousand cubits and it was to the ankle and when he saw that you were faithful he measured a thousand cubits many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace you can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be Yes. this is ushering season oh, for when God wants to bless you he will first increase the anointing then enlarge your sphere of influence you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise you have made hallelujah you love this ministry I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out listen you are going to pray for the ministers see the way ministers are falling around like leaves immorality all kinds of things I've said it any man can fall from any height are you hearing what I'm saying and if you love us pray for us pray for us we are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace, hear me, hear the prayer point, and fire spread from this place and around this nation. God is already doing great things through our teachings. I cannot describe to you what is happening around. The media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me, when you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. 
the ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become epistles of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. <laughs> of the ministry our school of ministry God is raising mighty mighty men of power in all spheres not just ministry you are going to pray for our students you are going to pray for the missions hallelujah you are going to pray for koinonia you are going to pray for all of the things that we are doing you are going to say Lord not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you are going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain faithful grace to remain humble
I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you. That everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three four blessings. Receive it. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Power to cast out devils. Amen. 
hear me in the name that is above all names whatever bows to us here let it bow to you in the name of the lord jesus whatever answers to us let it answer to you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i want to pray for your family hear me enough is enough this night lift your hands super super your families will never believe you or the god you serve until there is an evidence i pray my god that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work let there be a release now let there be a release now let the angel of the lord go across every state every city i instruct it every city saria abuja lagos calabar go this day just angels in the name of jesus go and confirm breakthroughs go and confirm breakthroughs go and confirm breakthroughs give testimonies 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 so that they will know that your god is alive hallelujah hallelujah the lord is instructing me to do something dangerous please take off your shoes and stand on your feet this is not diabolic please don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me my god there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the holy ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my god let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of communion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the earth answer to you.
Aleluya. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it take it take it a mantle of prosperity a mantle of wealth a mantle of finance do, do mighty things for the kingdom to feed the hungry to clothe the poor to wipe the tears from your family let this anointing bring you ideas let it bring you opportunities There are people outside overflow one two three the truth is there are people who need jesus christ and a day is going to come whether we like it or not that day the very judge of the earth is coming it's coming if he said it in his word then it is true mm -hmm. come out and be serious with god be serious with God. It's amazing how people come out for altar call. They come out for altar call and you see them playing around and you know they are not serious. I'm not saying you must cry, but there is an attitude of seriousness. You don't play games with God. Are we together? I want you to run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain because there really is. One. Two. Apostle, I'm ready to break my pride and humble myself. It's not a call to condemnation. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, make your way. I've cried for my own life. My own life as a man of God. I've cried and rolled in the presence of God, crying for my own life. So don't, don't think that this is just some showmanship. Three, make your way. It's not by force. It's not compulsory. You can choose to sit down. But you can choose to say, let tonight be that night. Lord, you have to win this war over my life. Four. The Holy Spirit is still speaking to people. You may have money. You may have anointing. You may have cars. But let me tell you this. The Bible says, if your hope is only in this life, you are of all men of all politicians of all businessmen of all men of god miserable there has to be a cry from your heart lord i need you is a sign of humility is there someone still joining them very quickly i want to pray your coming to jesus means i am ready to close the door to all the friends and personalities in my life that are not ready to head my direction your coming to Jesus is a revelation that Lord I am ready to be serious with you it's not just you are coming as a preamble to receiving a miracle and then you run back no in plenty and in none leaving you is no longer an option in my life hallelujah I want to lead you some of you are crying let me tell you this if you have any loved one who is not saved 
I hope their names are in your prayer request. Because I know that some of us, if I ask you what is on your prayer request now, the only thing is wife, husband, promotion. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But let me tell you this. It's, it's funny, but from heaven, you will still see your loved ones in hell. You will know they are the ones. It's not that you are going to look at them and say, I don't know, I don't. It's a lie. You will know that this one is my mother. This one. Now, you can't do anything about those who have gone. But there are people now you know in your neighborhood around your life. It is the Lord's desire that all men be saved. Please, if you are a pastor here, take the issue of soul winning seriously. Be careful. All these things we learn around in the name of mentorship. I believe in men. Be careful. Many people are veering off. There is, a, there is a path that brings power and grace. At the end of your life, you don't want to be a wise master builder. Be, be careful. The flamboyant does not necessarily mean God is there. Be careful especially for some of us who are younger ministers we must be wise you don't just swallow everything hook line and sinker just because it is being done no sir no sir no sir no sir there are churches where an altar call is not made for more than two years then one day they organize one hilarious pretentious revival and then just draw one or two people. It's a joke. It's a joke. More than healing. More than miracles. More than getting a job. More than all of this. Is the eternal destiny of men. I am interested in knowing that I'm not praying for someone going to hell. It's a waste. I'm interested in knowing that I'm not teaching someone a principle to prosper. When he's already gone to hell. It's a waste. I will teach you about the finances and the kingdom life when we know that your eternal destiny is secure. Those of us who are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, just one prayer before I pray for them. Lord, make me serious with you. Make me serious with you. Please pray. It's a very serious prayer. There are some of us, you are not going to hell. But the truth of the matter is you are not serious with God. No. Mm -mm. There's nothing about God that, that can steal your passion. It's not priority. You see people function in the house of God and you say, oh, these ones is because they are called into ministry. There's no such thing as that. It's your hunger. Especially for some of us sisters, we have to pray. Lord, make me serious with you. I don't care how many men like you. I don't care what they have told you. If you are not serious with God, your life is in shambles. It's true. Lord, make me serious with you. Let nothing else sustain the ability to your place in my life that's a very good prayer hallelujah come live in me oh my love take hold Come live in me and I will rise on you. You are a parent here. Yeah? When your children get to the age of discretion, the moment they can think and they can understand, lead them to Jesus consciously. It is very responsible. Lead them to Jesus. If you have not done so as you go back home, don't just say my children are smart. Call them. Preach the gospel to them. 
the moment they, are, they can think they should be born again please be take let nobody stay in your roof you have a neighbor that is squatting with you he's not serious it doesn't matter no it does no it does no it does they can choose to reject jesus that's all right no one goes to hell because he's a sinner everybody goes to hell because he rejected jesus that is the sin that takes men to hell i rejected him i had a choice but i rejected him jesus carry your load and walk out of my life those of you in front here i truly appreciate you whatever you have in this life if jesus is not above it is useless let me just tell you the truth i want to lead you in an honest prayer i know some of you are crying overflow one two three those online please listen i'm not asking you whether you're a business mogul i'm not asking you whether you have how many degrees all those things are useless when you are no longer here i'm going to lead you in an honest prayer and i want you to pray from the depth of your heart listen to what you are saying and pray it loud are you ready now say after me with all your heart passionately lord jesus I love you with all my heart this night I make up my mind and I make a commitment to serve you and to live for you from today till eternity I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life I declare that my sins are forgiven I declare that the life of God eternal life is mine today Holy Spirit I receive you as the life of God in my spirit I declare that I'm a child of God forever let me pray for you father I thank you for these ones they have unashamedly come the Bible says that if you are ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you before my father, Jesus speaking. Lord, these ones have come opening their hearts genuinely to receive of your grace. I ask you, oh God, you who is the helper of us all, help them. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the righteousness of God is at work in you. The grace to live a victorious Christian life. The grace for passion and intimacy with God is released upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every pain and every legal access the devil has over your life is hereby broken forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I congratulate every one of you. Now listen, I know that some of you are rededicating your life to Christ. There are a number of you, those in here, I just want you to walk out this way. And then the various overflows, I know that there are people attending to them. They will have your details, appraise you very quickly, and you return back to join us in the service. I salute you. Thank you so much for your courage. Your life will never be the same. God bless you. Please direct them. Make sure someone is directing them. Make sure someone is directing them. Hallelujah. Amen. Please sit down. Hallelujah. There are two ministries that I believe will be reignited in a fresh dimension. Two very great anointings i really believe with all my heart and and it's been confirmed from different people seasoned veterans of the gospel across the earth number one is the healing ministry i believe that the church has lost a major dimension of the healing ministry it's true even some of us that supposedly walk in it the truth is that most people have not experienced the full import of the healing ministry the healing ministry I'm going to be showing you a few things and then we'll pray we'll get to the business of the night 
the healing ministry is very important it played a major role the challenge was that most of the healing evangelists got to a point where they were carried away by the healing and no longer Christ and his purposes because the healing ministry is a means is a sign that points men to Jesus it's possible that because of the charismatism around the healing ministry you can veer off and your whole focus becomes the miraculous and not the Christ himself the second ministry that I believe will be experienced is the ministry of wealth and abundance it's true this wealth transfer that you've heard people say I believe that God has suspended that dimension for a reason because as a body we are not yet ready for that dimension the our perspectives about kingdom wealth and finance does not warrant God releasing that level of blessings because for many of us our hearts are still corrupt over the idea of money are we together the average person's idea about money is just some kind of um, is just a, a quest to get and buy nice clothes and nice cars and prove that I am successful there is a place for that but if that is the scope of your idea then you do not need any wealth transfer are we together yes so God must first walk upon our hearts is the same way years ago there was a very strange manifestation of a lot of things that happened in Zaria angelic feathers gold dust silver dust you know people started having these strange encounters and one I remember one night the Lord told me he said I'm withdrawing this experience because it's leading to idolatry it didn't reach one month and that experience was withdrawn people will go to pray and for hours all they are doing is checking their hands to see if there's any gold or silver to use it as an evidence to validate spirituality and God said no if I don't take it away one demon will give it an innocent prayer warrior a feather and he will carry it and idolize it in his room until he begins to mislead another group of people and so God withdrew that experience God only releases experiences to people and territories where there is a level of maturity and discernment he knows that when this reality reaches the people they will not abuse it until now as i speak to you there are people who don't understand the purpose of money and it is being abused and so god will not release it until the body is taught the money is safer with bill gates is safer with all of these people than it is with preachers and pastors because they have worked on their minds they are better treasurers for god than us so all it is true that there is a wealth transfer coming but not not some money monger kind of thing it won't come that way anyway i just thought to share that let's look at the ministry of jesus luke chapter 6 i study the gospels a lot because the ministry of jesus inspires me He's the greatest model that I have and I like to I like to study his idea what did he do what was captured in his ministry Luke chapter 6 and verse 17 to 19 Luke chapter 6 verse 17 to 19 this is Jesus now having the sermon on the mount okay I'll just read it from here and he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of the disciples a great multitude of people listen out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear now listen carefully the people came to hear amplified says to listen to him he came to hear him and to be healed there is a relationship between hearing and being healed they didn't just come to be healed they came to hear and to be healed verse 18 or still verse 17 to be healed of all their diseases 18 and they that were vexed with unclean spirits so 
we see the kind of people that came for Jesus' meetings. Those who were sick. They were sick. Terribly diseased. They came to listen to him. There was something he taught them about listening to his words and the healing power of God. So they came to hear and to be healed. The second category of people we see, they that were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed. Unclean spirits. The source of their pain and their discomfort were the presence of unclean spirits. And the Bible says, and the whole multitude, listen, sought to touch him. Why? For there went power out of him to heal them. I love the ministry of Jesus. So the Bible tells us why the people got healed. That there was power. Other versions say virtue. There was something that Jesus had that would leave him into the people. And the moment it entered them, they would discover that their sicknesses were gone. Are we together? Acts chapter 10, when you read verse 38, Peter was teaching. That was a salvation of the Gentiles in the house of Cornelius. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Listen, it says who went about doing good. Went about doing good. Went about doing good. So we see other things that Jesus did that were not captured. He didn't just heal the sick alone. He didn't just deliver the oppressed alone. He went about doing good. Breakthrough is a good thing. Restoration is a good thing. He went about doing good. And then healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Any ministry that wants to reproduce Jesus' ministry. And, and by the way, I hope you know that what we do today is an extension of his ministry. Jesus' ministry did not end with his ascension to heaven. Are we together now? He said, it is expedient that I go. Why? So that the comforter will come. It is to your advantage, advantageous to you that I go. Because my transition will allow the Holy Spirit to come. Like the mantle of Elijah came on Elisha. Now that mantle that was on Jesus, the Spirit himself, without measure, so that we can partake of that spirit and become an extension of his ministry. We are gathered tonight as proof that the ministry of Jesus has not ended. We are gathered tonight because we believe that he still heals. Do you believe that? We are gathered tonight because we believe that he still delivers. We are gathered tonight because we believe he still does good. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as the Father had sent me, this is Jesus speaking, the Father sent me, I now send you, as the Father sent me, both in terms of the scope of the assignment and the equipping. The Father sent me with power, and every time I spoke, something left me to validate what he said. He said, so also I sent you. You see, if the power of God does not back up his word, it's fraud. It is the power of God that validates the truth, the potency of God's word. So at some point in this service, we should expect the power of God to find expression. Not just in people, you know, receiving impartations here and they're wonderful. But we expect the power of God to heal the sick we expect the power of God to cleanse all kinds of unclean people who are cohabiting with demon spirits that are manipulating their lives and manipulating their results at some point in this service we should see the superiority of light over darkness is that true at some point in this service God should be able to step over your issue to see that that 10 year long issue just dissolves like this just like that is that true if that happens then we can say with all sense of gratitude that we are an extension of the ministry of jesus but listen to me brothers and sisters if this does not happen we are wasting god's time and we are wasting the time of god's precious people 
That's why we prepare for all of the meetings, especially the miracle service. Because you have not just come to watch a man. You have come to see an extension of the ministry of Jesus. You have come with your requests. You have come with your medical reports. You have come with your pain. You have come with all kinds of oppression. You have come with all kinds of closed heaven. And you're saying, Lord, if you are the only one I know who can help me, let me tell you, your coming is faith enough. Did you hear what I said? You're leaving your house to come is faith enough. It's true. Like a patient goes to the hospital. Once you're in the hospital, just leave the rest to the doctor. Then the doctor begins to prescribe. And this is what is happening to us. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Let's look at one scripture. Mark chapter 1, 21. Mark chapter 1 and verse 21. And they went into Capernaum, still the ministry of Jesus, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered the synagogue and taught. It's interesting how Jesus held his crusade. He would take out time, not just to preach, but to teach. Jesus knew that teaching was the system for sustaining anything that the people were to receive. Are we together? If the entire scope of ministry is just miracles alone, it, it becomes volatile. The people receive it and then it just evaporates. But when they are taught, it guides their understanding to keep that which they have received. You can lose something you have received. It's true. You can lose healing. Demons can leave people and re-enter them again. But when the word of God is taught, it gives you the basis. Are we together now? So Jesus taught in their synagogues. We're reading. It's, it's a long reading. Let's see how far we can go. Just keep, just continue. And they were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. 23. And there was in their synagogue. I love Jesus. See how his miracle service was. As soon as he just finished preaching. It was time to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom. And there was in that service a man with an unclean spirit. And the demons began to cry out, 24, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth, art thou come to destroy us? We know who you are, the Holy One of God, and so on and so forth. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace and come out of him. This is Jesus for you. This is Jesus for you. Because that man's life was obviously in shambles because there was another spirit that was cohabiting with that individual manipulating his intentions and jesus looked at him this does not reflect the kingdom and he brought that spirit out like it's going to happen to many people the forces and the spirits that are responsible for the results we do not want but keep seeing until they leave all these things are a joke when the unclean spirit had turned him he cried out in a loud voice and he came out of him 27 we're reading down to i think it was 39 or so i just want us to walk through the ministry of jesus and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority he commanded even the unclean spirits and they do obey him let me tell you this when you command an unclean spirit and it goes, it is a big deal. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Doctors can treat sickness. They can cast out devils. Machines can show an elongated lung or heart, but it cannot show the spirit sitting there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? These spirits are living entities. They can hear they have a system and a structure. They were designed to respect some people and disobey some people. Are we together? They understand ranking in the spirit. So when you issue a command, as Jesus did, and these spirits are forced against their will to leave that individual and that habitation is proof of dominion. Are we together? Yes, it is. It truly is proof of dominion. Look at Jesus used this. The people were astonished. 
They said our priests and rabbis didn't do this. They couldn't do this. I hope you know that while all the priests used to preach, that man was in the temple and the spirits were hearing. But the words were not potent enough to force them to leave. So they kept coming service after service. May you not be a man of God that cohabits with demons. And that people come and sit under your anointing and under your meeting. And the demons that cause poverty, failure, whatever it is. You share the grace and they share the grace with you. And you go out. No sir. Haba. What then is the excellency of light over darkness? Your presence should discomfort the gate of hell. So well that there is no pretending about it. That's why some of you bring people here. You notice you bring them and when they sit down while praise and worship is happening, they want to run away. It's not them. It's not them. The devil knows that when you come into an environment that can bring you emancipation, Satan will revolt and fight and fight again and again. But tonight the devil is a liar. It's too late. Really, it's too late. 28 and immediately his fame spread abroad all through the region round about galilee and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john let's see what happened and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her now jesus is healing we saw him cast out devils He's about to heal now. And he came and took her by the hand. I love Jesus. And lifted her up. And how, may, how long? Immediately. Immediately. Do you know if Jesus did not touch her, she would remain like that. And you would think it's the will of God. Don't trivialize an anointed hand. Goodness. Jesus walks in and says, I'm introducing something to this woman's body. That until the arrival of that thing, the condition does not change. That contact... The Bible says immediately the fever did what? That means the fever was a living thing. It could move. Abba, is it, are you not intelligent people? The fever left. Pastor Alpha left me. Before Jesus came, the fever was with her. They gave it all kinds of interpretation. Jesus, look at what Jesus did. He didn't talk. He just touched the Bible didn't say they shall lay hands on the sick and speak. Just by making contact alone. Are you seeing that now? Some, it was about the transference of virtue. And it forced the spirit. There was a separation. That means the discomfort you feel is because there is something with you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. That means that growth, that swelling... Is a sign that there is something with you. Ah, but the hands of Jesus extended through us. You see that? I, I'm, I'm creating expectation in you. That means that pile would never have been piled until a spirit came in partnership with your body. And just saying pile go is not what will, will make it go. There is an agency that will separate you from that pile. You will call it a miracle. There is no reason to remain sick when the spirit has been separated. Look at it. Immediately, not slowly. So the question is not whether you can be healed. The question is whether the anointing is sufficient to separate that spirit. Because when it happens, the Bible says immediately. And she was so healed, she went straight to the kitchen. Straight to the kitchen from a bed. And he came and took her by the hand and brought unto him all that were there at even when the sun did set. Like Koinonia now, they brought unto him. That means there was an information that had reached town. That when we bring certain people to this man, there was something about him that was able to heal them. They brought unto him all that were what? Diseased. And them that were possessed with devils. See the kind of people that came to Jesus. As a man of God, if these kinds of people are not coming to you, it's not the issue of I'm not called into this ministry. Something is wrong. Because they should discern 
that the hand of God upon your life should function in a pattern similar to that of Jesus and should make them bring certain people. There are, there are creative dimensions that his anointing can bring. Creation is needed when there is no possibility of having that reality again. Then you create it. Not everyone may be sick, but let me tell you something. Everyone needs the hand of God. There are some of us, our heavens are closed totally. And don't act as if it's not important. Nobody is favoring you. No open door. You are born again, but your life and your door and destiny is closed. Can you trust God to open this door for you? It's not by might. It's not by power. You heard the testimony of, of uh, Joy. She said an uncle who does not even call her. Something made that uncle call, brothers and sisters. Because that uncle also has relatives somewhere. Everybody who blesses you has someone in need around him. What makes him to leave them and come to you? No. Are we blessed? One question I'll ask you and then we'll begin to pray. Are you truly tired of the situation? You see, there's something I think I was sharing with. I can't remember who I was sharing this with. I was saying pain. It was you, Jimmy. Pain is very important. Sometimes the only way to let people serious is allow that pain. Don't stop it. Because there are people, if you have not been pushed to the wall, you will not see the need for God. For as long as there is somebody answering your prayer for you, you will not see the need to be serious. So sometimes God deliberately allows it. And that pain the day five of your children said daddy is this how we'll continue you just get up and say i'm coming for koinonia today I'm, I'm tired of this that pain was an indication that something is wrong and that it needs remedy fast pain there are people who never run and come to god but you just press one side of your stomach and you just felt ah something is growing what is this next week the thing increased you told a doctor just touch it and say, ah, I don't want to tell you the name pain just say when is that miracle service served? the power of God is real it can produce miracles it will produce miracles in your life tonight do you believe it I expect that not only would God heal the sick not only will he cast out devils listen carefully i expect that tonight by his spirit he will lift you out of certain captivities lack of favor delay there are some of us who are trusting god to return certain things that left your life for years whoever told you it cannot you heard the lady that said they stole her phone they came with matchet and stole her phone i remember she sent me a text that they came to carry a matchet. Foolish thieves. They don't know that a body without a spirit is dead. The same way you have been carrying a certificate. That's the body. Where is the spirit component? That's why you drop it on a table and they throw it in a dustbin. But when the spirit component comes, let me tell you this. God never designed a man to do anything on earth unassisted. A spirit entity must assist you. Even you, if you meet a herbalist, that herbalist is not alone. There is a spirit assisting him. You see that? Yes. Don't walk through life by your strength and power. Please help them life will be too hard for you this is the mystery of hardship rejecting the assistance of the spirit i would dare not do ministry without the spirit what else will i be doing but with god with god all things without him you are on your own but when you involve him and not only involve him go a step further by letting him lead the way then your life becomes a wonder i'm showing you many of you are surprised the same surprise was in the bible they were astonished what manner of man is this astonished 
and then the man if he's wise will tell you look i'm not alone jesus said i'm not alone all these miracles you see i'm being assisted brothers and sisters the result you see in this ministry is a product of assistance the realm of the spirit is in partnership you can't be standing here and someone is shouting outside shouting at overflow no no Habba. words are not hammer but when the spirit is upon them that word will enter you like a drug and all of a sudden you will find out that certain things will go <laughs> It will work in Zaria, it will work in Lagos, it will work in London, it will work in Saudi Arabia, it will work everywhere. Are we together? Mm. The spirits that oppress us must give way. I'm, gi I'm taking out time to charge your heart like this because I want you to receive. The most important thing is not the ministrations as it were. The most important thing is creating this expectation. Many of us come and we are just hoping. Um, okay, God, I know you will bless me. In the name of Jesus, may God lift you. Amen. I just, well, it was a nice service. And you go back and nothing happens. You keep watching people come to testify. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her, not unto them, there shall be a performance. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord. I came here full of the Holy Ghost and I came here believing with all my heart. You are sick. Get ready to be healed. Don't, don't, don't say, well, let's watch and see. Get ready to be healed. You are oppressed of the devil. You may not even know you are oppressed. You just know that nothing is working in your life. I want you to be tired and say, God, will you bring me here? So especially for those of you who came so far, Lord, will you carry me and bring me here and take me back like that? There are some of you in ministry, you came to contact fire. Lord, will you leave me? Will I leave my members, my fellowship and come back here and go back? No evidence of favor. I believe him. I believe that he's a mighty man. I believe he's awesome. I have seen his hand. I have seen his power and ladies and gentlemen I present to you the same God yesterday today forever I present to you the same healer yesterday today forever I present to you the same deliverer I present to you the one who took Joseph from the prison overnight I present to you the one who turned Saul to the apostle. I present to you the one who turned Rahab to be part of the genealogy of Jesus. I present to you your destiny changer. I present to you your destiny maker. I present to you the anointer of men. The one who puts oil upon the head of ordinary people and changes their lives. I present to you the prosperer. The one who can program a climate of favor over a man as though you are holding a child. I present to you the one who can give you influence, can lift you from nothing and make your life a wonder, a specimen, an epistle of his hand. That's the God I present to you. I have given a very nice speech. We're about to step back and allow the king of glory ride over this place. And let me watch the mountain that stands before him. Let me watch Zerubbabel. Oh, no, no. He said, who art thou mountain? Who art thou mountain? Who art thou infirmity? Who art thou delay? Who art thou stagnation? Before Zerubbabel. He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Lift your hands, I want to pray. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. 
there is an impartation of the grace for favor this is what the Lord is telling me the grace for favor the grace I'm about to pray for favor favor is a revelation that God has given me my life is a testimony of that reality I want to pray for you now believe believe as I pray I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now father even as you have revealed to me from this main auditorium to overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online Lord I release an impartation for the grace for favor receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus I stretch my right hand and I decree and declare step into a new level of favor 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 we need favor in our lives most of the things we pray about are under the office of favor to solve i say it again in the name of jesus every challenge in your life that only the favor of god can solve i stand before the god who has helped me and has helped this ministry i release upon you an oil of favor take it now in the name of jesus take favor take favor receive favor in the name of jesus christ a strange dimension of favor favor that will surprise you favor that will accelerate your life when a life listen to me when a life has no favor it is clear the proof of lack of favor is the absence of helpers in your life not the absence of money you can have money you can have intellect you can have a job but when there are no men in your life you don't have favor the proof of favor is not the coming of money the proof of favor is the rapid response from men to attend to the issues of your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that the men that will show up in your life to validate the grace for favor I prophesy them upon you now I call them by prophecy in the name of Jesus upon your business upon your job upon your projects may men arise to help you hallelujah hallelujah there is the grace for favor those of you who are on the social media may have heard of a testimony that had been trending for a while I traveled to Lagos last week and just when we got down from the aircraft on my way going listen carefully something is happening here a young man just walked to me and held me and I looked at him and he said sir remember me I said well I don't remember you what's the story he came here koinonia with a property his property and carried it and gave me as a seed I said what for I mean you're a young man what will you go and tell your wife brothers and sisters from November till now nine properties and one estate came to him a young guy Abba. is it charm what is on you is what brings things to your life it's not what you want it is what is on you in the name of jesus that anointing that must come on you i declare that it comes on your head right now it comes upon your head right now producing strange results it comes upon your head right now it comes upon your head
dead right now. Just follow me. Some of you don't know how you need favor. You know you need favor, but you don't know what extent. I can't imagine that there are human beings that live on this earth without favor. You will never be able to be happy on earth. No. I can you check let's check our lives the truth is for many of us there is no favor it's not that the helpers are not there there has to be something on you to bring them every lifting that God has brought by his grace happened in this Zaria not London Zaria here many of us live unrewarded lives because there is nothing on you drawing men to bless you nobody thinks about you God does not talk to anybody about you a gentleman I think one of these uh, I can't remember one of these Fridays and he stood to see me after the service and he said man of God my life is hard can you help me with some money and I looked at him I said you are not a wise gentleman I know you need money now but you should ask yourself the person giving you the money where did it come from the wiser prayer is for favor i said let's do an experiment i told him i said i will pray for you for favor return next friday and tell me what happened if nothing happens i will give you money agreed he said yes and i prayed for him and he went brothers and sisters on monday monday that's the monday after that gentleman sent me a text and he said his uncle that he's even fighting with their father that he did a very serious transfer and told him that who helps you in school and he said nobody he said so why have you not been reaching me all of you these proud children and so on and so forth that he was going to start sending him money i said you you believe that that uncle just did it by his will listen this world is too wicked for somebody to just like you that's flattery this wicked world where a man can slaughter a child's head then what makes you believe they will just like you enough to see that you rise it takes favor can i pray that prayer for you again in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you have done your best you have done your efforts you have struggled it's almost killing you now receive the grace for favor receive the grace for favor may your life change by favor receive the grace for favor hallelujah it is favor that brings resources it is favor that brings opportunity there are many gifted people there's no one to reward them there are many nice people many wonderful musicians nobody to place a demand on their grace it's so annoying when you see someone you are better than but he has favor and you don't and yet you have to say yes sir her man did not think mordecai was good enough but favor and he said everywhere you see the chariots of mordecai bow the knee mordecai is passing yes a gatekeeper you may not like a person but when favor is on them it will veto whatever you think i pray for you again every door that must open in this season to validate favor i command it to be open now i command it to be open now listen you're not going to build a house by savings let me tell you the truth it's not in today's nigeria you're not going to buy a car by saving now practice all these things you're not going to to settle and train your children just by saving money you will need a grace that can accelerate your results otherwise you will never be a giver you will never you can't be a giver just by saving peanuts 10 naira and 100 naira when there is a demand life will demand so much from you that if you are not operating under favor you will be frustrated and that's how satan wants to trap men 
he will trap you and make your life miserable let's release this favor on our families you have received it for yourself but let it get to your family i pray for you in the name of jesus christ my father every family that is represented here by the anointing of the holy spirit let there be a release of favor let there be a release of favor favor on every family favor on every family listen sometimes eh it is not warfare that destroys it is even how favor works favor can kill to make sure that one person rises some of these proud relatives that make fraternities with darkness and sit upon the destinies of families and make ghosts and say for as long as we are there you must route your success through us if you attempt to rise without us you will not rise i declare that the sword of favor may it get to every family and dislodge everybody who wants to be god in that family hallelujah favor in one minute I want you to begin to mention all the areas you want to see favor and speak lift your voice begin to pray begin to pray participate Lord I release favor concerning this job pray I release favor I release favor favor concerning my building project Like a shield, you surround us with favor like a shield. Pray, make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus. Favor like a shield. Favor in my academics, pray. Favor over my job. Lord, favor, favor, favor. hallelujah listen let me tell you the truth you see ba this prayer you are praying if this prayer is truly answered in your life this is how you will stand what is this this favor prayer you see there are people who have touched of this favor they can tell you favor is fearful in its operation is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they carry the crippled man I don't deserve the palace he says still come and the king said you will sit here and eat with me let me tell you how you know it is favor listen favor is not one time when somebody just says hey Jimmy I want to give you water what that's just goodness favor is I want to keep blessing you I want to continue doing this many of us what happens is that we're mistaking goodness for favor someone just appear once and just says look I want to help you and it never happens again when it is favor a process is ignited it keeps following like that it's true study the things in your life you'll be able to separate goodness from favor there are things that just happen one time but favor favor continues so I'm seeing fire on my hands and I want to pray because the Lord wants to bless the works of our hands listen whether you're on a job or whatever it is you see these hands you see they are it's a mystery it says the the hand of God it was with this hand God made man are we together now this hand you see is a symbol of your productivity and if it is not blessed it will bring struggle to you i want to pray I'm, I'm seeing fire on my hands and i want to pray 
because for many of us we are getting results but our results are too small I stretch these hands the fire that the Lord put upon this hand in the name of Jesus I release it let it come upon your hands let it come upon your hands representing your job your academics your business whatever it is that you're involved in I release I stretch my hands may that may that fire come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ you go back with that hand and write a proposal and it will shock you what will happen you go back with that hand listen listen believe this and pick up a document and submit and someone collects it and is under the influence of what your hand brought it's true it's true why does God do these things to give us rest so we can serve him why does God open doors to give you rest financial frustration and all kinds of related frustrations are strategies from Satan to distract you and make you to keep seeking things you never will truly be able to seek God when certain things have not been solved in your life it's true you can't give God your best when you are still thinking of what to eat you are thinking of what to wear but when God takes those things away your prayer life becomes worship not just hours of petition in the flesh hallelujah hallelujah overflow too there's someone the anointing of the spirit is coming on someone overflow too the overflow by the roadside bring the lady hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done overflow to the overflow by the road please quickly we have to hurry up thy kingdom come thy will be Can I talk to you, madam? This woman, please tap her for me. Come. Hello, him There is a spirit that doesn't want this woman to rise. Hello, him Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. The Lord is opening the eyes of your parents. I'm seeing the Lord opening their eyes to a realization of something the devil has been using. In the name of Jesus, especially for this lady, I command it so now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every conspiracy of darkness over you and your family is hereby crushed to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I don't know who you are, but let me pray for you. There is a spirit. I look at you and I see a woman who should be walking in certain realms of favor. You love the Lord, but there's, it's, like, it's like a trap. You just cannot move and make progress. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. As I pray for you, madam, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. The devil has put something in this lady's stomach. This lady you are holding. I command in the name of Jesus, remove that evil you have put now. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I'm about to pray and I'm already seeing a vision of what will happen. There will be such a massive, massive, massive deliverance. Now, let it not surprise you. I've explained to you what this thing is. It's a separation. You should rejoice when it happens because it means that you are entering a new season. A new season. A new season. A new season.
witchcraft manipulations of darkness in the name of Jesus I command a separation through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit I decree I set it as an ordinance in the spirit I announce liberty liberty bring them out Christ if there is any family that has been covenanted to any elements of the supernatural whether the earth whether fire that people pass through fire to make ordinances at the count of three I command those ordinances set on fire one two three let there be liberation right now every family covenanted Waters covenanted to the air to trees. I set you free now. And I'm seeing or your state or your state this is the hand of God the sword of the spirit going to or your state bringing deliverance there are times that God moves this way in the name of Jesus I command whoever is from that region may the power of God begin to touch you now may the power of God begin to touch you now complete liberty complete liberty complete liberty Overflow 3, please lift your hands. Just watch your screen and lift your hands. Overflow 3. Don't worry, you, you, they, you, you don't have to bring them. The distance is far. Overflow 3, just look at me. I see the angels of the Lord doing something there. At the count of 3, Overflow 3, I want you to shout the name Jesus because I'm seeing swords. That's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is bringing a massive, massive breakthrough massive deliverance in the name of the Lord Jesus overflow three are you ready I'm seeing chains of stagnation about to leave you right now in the name of Jesus everyone under any kind of oppression at the count of three shout Jesus one two three hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly hold on guys hold on hold on hold on please i want to pray the lord is showing me something that is very interesting the lord wants to break cycles there are people every season certain things happen every september somebody must die every three three years somebody married must divorce in the name of jesus lift your hands you don't have to ask whether or not you are involved don't worry the anointing will look for you i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus the power that activates cycles demonic cycles over the lives of people so that certain patterns 
and events keep repeating themselves in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands call that lady back that lady lift your hands my dear God is not done with you I look at you and I see oppression there is something that the devil has put in you if I don't pray for you very soon they will start telling you you will start feeling pain they will say fibroid in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I command that devil let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ every cycle over anyone's life are you ready to shout Jesus now at the count of three to surprise you what God will do one two get ready three the chain of circles be broken cycles cycles of failure cycles of miscarriages cycles of unfruitfulness by the sound of the spirit be broken now hallelujah be broken now I want to pray um, please this man I don't know who the this man yes please quickly we are soon going to pray for the sick I may not have time to prophesy to individuals I'm standing near this lady and I'm seeing a snake this is what I see in the name of Jesus I curse that devil I'm not seeing a human being I'm seeing a snake in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ overflow one I'm seeing the power of God this I just mentioned snake and I was seeing serpents just moving at overflow one right now I'm seeing it's like a sword dividing those snakes that's what I'm seeing it's happening to people at overflow one in the name of Jesus let it be over now snakes and scorpions the mystery the mystery of snakes and scorpions he said I give you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy sir I want to pray for you I don't know whether you came here for us Yes, you have been but, coming here uh, but i was tra i traveled before that so i have not been coming i want to pray for you yes sir if i don't pray for you the devil is going to kill you i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you inside a coffin they have already closed you i'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you you love jesus be careful so that they don't bring these herbal things for you huh yes, uh, is that true yes sir looking at you and i'm seeing them bring something for you to yes. help you yes sir that thing is a charm yes sir. it's not half it's charm yes. native yes. doctor yes sir huh? yes, that's sir. what will even kill you yes, sir. it's not going to solve your problem yes, sir. the people doing it are well-meaning yes sir. but the truth is that they are going to kill you for nothing yes, sir. Yes, sir. thank you sir because you are not even responding to it the way they say you should respond to it yes, and you violate it will destroy you yes, sir. can i pray for you yes, you have you have taken something in your system now that we wouldn't destroy you listen let me tell you when you are pressed we are humans and we can be pressed to the wall going to the devil to get a charm is is you are facilitating your destruction if satan gives you tea here he will hold a knife and stab you at the back father by the mercy of god i pray for this man let him not die in the name of jesus i close the gate of the grave over your life in the name of Jesus both the herbalist and the conveyor of those charms in the name of Jesus we scatter that shrine into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you sir the Lord perfects you in Jesus name I pray something is leaving this lady oh dear she's vomiting I'm looking at her and I'm seeing something Agnes God is not done with that guy or that young man with blue please if you are not Agnes don't come here please your name is Agnes where are you from I need to pray for you I'm seeing an attack on your life 
this attack is coming from Calabar. Huh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Cross River. You are from Cross River? Yes, sir. Come. I must pray for you. Kai, there is somebody, the Lord is setting the person free. I'm seeing a friend going to a herbalist and they are asking the friend to give somebody and they wrote the name of that person. You are here now. In the name that is above all names. I'm serious. Don't think I'm just hyping you. In the name of Jesus, whoever's name has been written by any demonic friend or whatever herbalist, in the name of Jesus, because that person you keep seeing dead, dead people, you even saw yourself in a coffin. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit now. I'm going to pray for you. And then we are going to pray for the sick right now. Ah. There is some serious deliverance. I'm, I'm seeing something happening in the realm of the spirit. This is, this is, this is a serious. Father, let this lady be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, you, this lady, come. You love Jesus? Huh? Yes, sir. Come. You, I, I'm not condemning you, eh? Look at me. You have to be very serious with God. One, two, friends. Look at me. God has delivered you many times. You would have destroyed yourself. Huh? You're a small girl. You need to love God with all your heart. Please, be very careful so you don't go and put yourself in something that will destroy you. I love you, eh? I love you and that's why I'm telling you this. You need... You need somebody to counsel you and follow you up. Hmm? I'm not going to say everything I'm seeing, but you have to be careful. Because it's God that saved you now. I'm seeing something, a virus. Anyway, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray for your daughter. Help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 The name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing and I'm seeing a tree, and that tree is this lady, and something that was planted, and the Lord is saying, Uproot it. I uproot this thing now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I uproot it now. The spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway State. I've never been there physically, but I'm seeing Benway, Benway, and I'm looking and I'm seeing like a tractor pushing trees down. It's like there is a covenant that has to do with trees in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is any family involved in this, I command an uprooting every tree that has not been planted. Help them by my father. Every tree I see Benway State in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be an uprooting, an uprooting, an uprooting. And uprooting in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you, my dear. You are a nice lady, but there's bad luck in your life. Very bad luck. And the Lord wants to help you. Father, help your daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bad luck be gone. Now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord help you. Come my dear. Let me pray for you. I'm about to pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are some. My spirit is heavy to prophesy. But because we have to. I want us to pray for the sick. So that I can just make those declarations. We may not have time for one on one prophecy. But I'm telling you. God wants to touch you touch a lot of people my dear i want to pray for you in jesus name the lord is rolling away the reproach in your family rolling away the reproach in your family in the name of jesus my dear look at me you are entering a new level of lifting you that's what i'm praying for you for i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head and the lord is saying i should tell you that is a new level of lifting you this lady looking at me i prophesy it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Who is this? Who? Agnes. Agnes. Where is she? Abuja. Abuja, sir. Your sister? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this lady. Where is she? Abuja, sir. She loves Jesus. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that no man will come into her life and destroy her. Eh? In the name of... Is she married? Huh? In no. the name of... Uh, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God help you. Mama, come. Let me pray for you. It's your season of breakthrough. Come. Is this your child? Come. Boy, come. I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing that God is going to use him. This is a small boy. Boy, how are you? The, the boy doesn't even know. But I'm going to pray for him. Samuel did not know that he would become a great prophet one day. When Eli, he was just an innocent boy. I'm going to pray for him. Mama, please stand up. I will pray for you. Look at me, ma. Please don't be embarrassed. But the Lord is saying he wants to take suffering from your life. This thing they call in house, wahala. God wants to take it from your life. You are a very sincere woman that loves the Lord, but this this cause of hardship um this woman loves the lord with all her heart father use what's what's the name of this boy Reba, uh, lifted okay. your name is lifted yes father i lay hands on lifted in the name of jesus christ use him mightily we are all products of your grace lift him and use him mightily in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you this. The month of April is your month of strange breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. The month of April is your month of breakthrough. Azuka, come. Lift the camera first. Let me pray for you and then you keep the camera. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing a big project coming for you. And this project is going to lift you. This is something that has to do with your snapshot. But God is bringing someone. It's been something you have desired that God will bring someone to open a door. And truth, you have been faithful. You have even been serving in this house. But I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift him. Take him to that dimension of grace. I release that anointing upon you. It will no longer be an ordinary camera. I call forth men. That will lift you. I command it so. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Open doors for you. Open doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. This lady. Um, Sarah. Come. There is witchcraft in your family. I have to pray for you. This thing is affecting everybody in the family. Everybody. Everybody. Not There's no exception. Everybody. Lord take away this plague of witchcraft in the name of jesus christ wonderful people beautiful ladies but all kinds of trouble from the pit of hell in the name of jesus christ i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser i silence the voice of the accuser in the name of jesus christ we are going to pray for the sick now. Listen, I know that there are a number of people who came here sick and a number of you have come trusting God for healing and miracle. Let me pray for this lady. How many of you have your prayer request? Now lift it up. Ushers, your prayer request. Those online, make sure we collect it. This, this lady, let me have her hands. Lord Jesus, let this trap of darkness over this family represented by this lady give way now in the name of jesus christ just hold her gently she'll be fine submit your prayer request quickly now we are going to pray for the sick don't allow any nonsense remain in your body no matter how small make sure you insist that it leaves make sure you insist that it leaves we are going to be very fast please we'll be very fast now let me say this when you stand to receive healing, don't just stand and be staring as if you are sleeping. Let your heart be open. Are we together? Number two, accept 
whoever is praying for you ask you what is wrong you don't have to say okay it is my ears or my don't worry don't worry the people praying for you have been trained and the anointing of the spirit will touch it doesn't matter what auditorium it's a corporate grace that is working here hallelujah and for all of us who are seated whilst this is happening make sure you are praying because I'm, I'm literally sensing as if I want to throw up it's the spirit of prophecy there's, there's something that the Lord is putting in my spirit to release and that's why I want to pray for the sick quickly so that we'll pray this prophecy if we do this I'm satisfied in this service we have to be very fast so that we'll conserve time hallelujah Jesus someone please help with collecting the request make sure that even those at the extremes of the road their requests are collected please everybody did father in the name of Jesus we pray by the ministry of the spirit several people serving as contact points but we pray that your power and your life will touch the sick Lord your people have come some of them with incurable diseases some of them with all kinds of devils I decree and declare that your anointing will prevail over every challenge let your people return with testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus please be seated while you pray for a while as we pray for these people pray spiritualize yourself make sure that you are submitting your request and make sure you are praying thank you Jesus my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make my life so beautiful my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make me just like you my beautifier beautiful. you have taken away taking away the shame taking away the pain The pain. Taking away the pain, make me just like you. Me just like oh, you. my beautiful, my beautiful, you are taking away, taking away the shame, taking away the pain.
Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu, Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu, Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu, Ipochuku, Ipo Kemadu.
of people from several nations of the world and several across this nation in the name of Jesus Joshua Selman cannot answer any man's prayer so Lord I transfer the trust of your people to you 
the one who is able to meet every need and on the strength of the grace that only comes from you and in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the resurrected lamb the one who is most victorious I prophesy and I turn every request here to become a testimony in the name of Jesus Lord as I walk through these requests in the name of Jesus that is exactly how your people walk through every challenge every challenge every challenge no matter what it is I decree and declare that the grace to triumph above it is released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ listen to me no matter what it is no matter what it is provided it found its way here in the name of Jesus Christ the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that receives the testimony the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that will receive the testimony there are people who need to lack sleep for these prayers to be answered may they lack the sleep there are people who need to be promoted for this prayer to be answered may they be promoted there are agents of darkness that must be laid to rest for these prayers to be answered may they be laid to rest in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray if they are still praying for you in any of the overflows don't worry you can just connect with them while I pray for you by the grace of God you will not write your request twice I thought I was done but I just felt drawn again to it whatever it is that you wrote here that requires a creative miracle that means the solution is not currently in existence anywhere may the one who created the heavens and the earth create your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you as long as God grants me the grace I will never stop prophesying over you it is the greatest thing I think I can do if I give a word of knowledge because I'm limited by time and I'm limited by my own understanding and my level of alignment to God I may not be able to accurately address everyone but when it comes to prophecy everyone can receive are we together now wherever you are you can receive you've heard the testimonies you've seen the things that happen the Bible says everyone who speaks let him speak according to the measure of grace there are some things this anointing can do and let's trust God that it happens in your life let's pray lift your hands father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that for everyone here who started this year in tears already that from January February you've not known joy I declare that as this week ends that's how your trouble and your sorrow ends too the Bible says no weeping endures for a night it says but joy comes with the morning I decree and declare the kind of testimony that will make you get down on your knees and say Lord I've seen you bless me but not this dimension may the God I serve release it to you anyone here jobless or trusting God for a better job in the name of Jesus between now and March miracle service return with your miracle job Return with your miracle job. Return with your miracle job. Anyone here due for promotion and whether based on tribal sentiments or whatever it is, you've been kept at a level. In the name of Jesus, I open the doors for you. Rise to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every manifestation of delay in your life others move forward but when it gets to your turn 
something just clamps you in one position or slow progress slow progress is as destructive as delay i command speed to your life i speak speed to your life i prophesy speed to your life in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and declare every advantage that the enemy has over your life in the name of jesus this is the season where all those doors are closed forever i pray for those in business here i speak over it the grace for multiplication let it come upon your business in the name of jesus christ i pray for those who are trusting god to correct certain things in their lives it may be results for students it may be something it may be a mistake of the past you've seen god correct things in strange ways here i command supernatural correction for you for every student here that the result you are holding is not your real result i don't care how long in the name of jesus the son of the living god we correct it right here anyone here involved in any kind of project building project whatever major project you or your loved ones i decree and declare the finisher's anointing comes upon that project in the name of jesus christ let me pray over your finances listen let me tell you this the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper if you truly believe god will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i pray for you i give you two weeks from today in the name of jesus christ that between now and the next 14 days let something notable happen to your finances listen I don't want you to think as I'm praying, you are thinking, oh, God will use A, B. Leave whoever God will use to him. I'm not talking business. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. Between now and the next 14 days, may the lifter of men surprise you in your finances. Hallelujah. Every gift of the Spirit that you had once seen in your life, and for some reason is either depleting in the grace for dispensing it or not there again i prophesy supernatural activation right now supernatural activation right now the supernatural grace for soul winning drawing people to god a strange grace I will not give you peace until people are coming to Jesus through you I release that grace over you I release that grace over you I release that grace over you take that grace now the grace to validate signs and wonders that through your hand listen not just through Joshua Selman in the name of Jesus those hands that are stretched towards me I prophesy to you the unction to walk in strange miracles receive it in the name of Jesus the grace to reproduce the miracles in this house I release that grace young and old male or female receive it in the name of Jesus I speak over your life that as you utter words concerning the destinies of men you will watch them come to pass with your very eyes in the name of Jesus Christ whoever needs to make peace with you I decree and declare the grace of God compels them to make peace with you hallelujah whoever has been directed by God to bless you and the devil is stopping them 
from obeying God is not necessarily financial. It may be to bless you with an information, access, opportunity. Whoever is supposed to bless and lift you and in the name of Jesus, the devil wants to stop them. I cleared the way for your contact with them. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here who needs an urgent breakthrough, maybe something that has to do with house rent, or maybe something that involves the police, just something that if God does not intervene, the embarrassment is going to be serious. I pray that between now and Sunday, the God that I serve, you may not see the wind, you may not see the rain, but brothers and sisters, may my God step in and surprise you. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Whatever has covered the glory of God upon your face, so that people cannot see and partake of that grace and also reward you i tread that veil into pieces in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i pray for any and everyone here suffering from any kind of barrenness in the name of jesus christ by next miracle service you come back pregnant i say it again by next by next month miracle service you return with your baby in your womb in the name of jesus the spirit that makes you see what you want but never hold it is close to you you see it they promise you and say by tomorrow i will do something then in the night something happens in the name of jesus everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand everything your eyes have seen i put it in your hand hallelujah finally i call your destiny helpers from the north the south the east the west whether they are in this country or outside this country i don't know how god will make them meet you but i declare they must meet you in the name of jesus they will not only meet you they will bless you in the name of jesus they will not only bless you they will continue blessing you I multiply dreams and visions and encounters in your life whatever has choked away your prayer life you used to pray for two three four five hours now you pray for 10 15 minutes you are drowsy you are tired it's an attack it is an attack it is the devil you used to be consistent but right now you wake up in the night you pray for 10 minutes you are snoring back in the name of Jesus tonight let there be revival upon your prayer life revival over your prayer life the appetite to study the word you once had it but it went away and for some of you you've not read your bible since last friday it's not that you don't want to the grace to make it happen is no longer there i command tonight may that fire for the word come upon you Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you